I'm Tommy Tran with your draft update, and we have history. Day three of the 2023 NFL Draft. 12 quarterbacks have been drafted so far this year. That is the most selected in the first five rounds in the common draft era. Also, 11 quarterbacks in the top 150. That's the most all-time. The latest, Jaron Hall, the Vikings, taking the quarterback out of BYU at 164. Joined by Lee J. Ducible and Emery Hunt. So when we picked things up last time, fellas, we talked about Dorian Thompson Robinson, and you were giving him like a, a C grade. You gave him, Emery, a B grade. So let's pick things up here with Aiden O'Connell. And Lee J., you're kind of wearing the, the, the Raiders color oh, yeah. here. So you're giving him a better <laughs> grade too, aren't you? Yeah, I'm giving him a way better grade. I like a B plus right here. And, and it's because he fits the mold of what Josh McDaniels wants. He wants a quarterback that processes fast, knows where to go with the football, and is a pure – pocket passer and O'Connell didn't run the 40 for a reason it looks like it might have helped him on draft they go a lot higher had he run the 40 because he's not a mobile quarterback at all but if you're talking about cutting the defense up and knowing where to go with the football Aiden O'Connell was a home run pick for the Raiders yeah for me it's just the fact that I love the toughness I love the moxie I love the fact that he never feels like he's out of a game but as you see in these replays Everything he throws is a 186 mile an hour fastball. He's got to learn to take some steam off of it, throw with a little bit more touch, a little bit more, you know, timing and anticipation. He has the arm strength to, to overcome, you know, being late on throws, but those type of throws go back the other way for touchdowns in the NFL.